I am standing inside the indoor practice facility at the Cleveland Browns headquarters. As you can see, it's extremely empty in here and very quiet, but not for long. In just a few short hours, the players will be piling in for their first workout since the offseason began. When I asked head coach Mike Petton what he expects of his players today, he said they better be in nothing less than perfect shape. I just spoke to head coach Chudzinski and he doesn't seem too concerned with the weather conditions today. He says his players have been practicing in it all week and that they are ready to play some traditional winter football. Thanks Vic, yes, it has been definitely a hard week coming off that tough loss against the Patriots last weekend. But they've been recuperating and I just spoke with head coach Rob Chudzinski and he seems very, very confident about the game plan today for their last home game here in First Energy Stadium. When I asked him about Jay Cutler starting at quarterback for the Bears, he said both Josh McCown and Jay Cutler are great quarterbacks and they'll be prepared for both. Thanks Vic, yes, the press conference room just cleared out and we now know who our new coaching staff is going to be under head coach Mike Petton. And I'm getting good vibes from everyone. I'm thinking that everyone is pretty impressed so far. I am personally impressed with offensive coordinator Kyle Shanahan. I really liked how he made a point that he's going to try and prove to everyone that he can be successful without his father's spotlight. Parents, congratulations on a huge national championship win. And of course, congratulations on being here at the Reese Senior Bowl. What was it like winning the national championship this year in California? Oh man, it was wild. I mean, definitely um, going through all that hard work and coming up short years, I mean, years ago, it it was it was just a lot of hard work going into it. Hello, I'm with Lamine Barrow from Louisiana State University inside linebacker here at the Reese Senior Bowl. Lamine, you are from the South, and so you're kind of close to home. What has it been like here playing in the South at the Reese Senior Bowl? Uh, it's been great, uh, especially uh, one of the things I know is as soon as we got off the bus was uh, the fan appreciation. I'm here with Kenny Ladler from Vanderbilt. Kenny, you play in the SEC, very strong football conference. What is it like coming here to the Reese Senior Bowl and playing with, you know, football players from other conferences as well? Oh, it's it's very fun, you know, get to experience different competitors around the country. Isaiah, tell me about this experience so far. I know that you're from up north, so you're, you're used to cold weather. How are you liking this warmer weather down here in the south? I feel good out here, man. It's a little, you know, it's a little breeze, but, you know, some guys are cold, but you know, I'm used to this. Hello Browns fans, I'm here with Chris Borlin, inside linebacker from the University of Wisconsin. Chris, you're from some cold weather up there in Wisconsin, so you're used to playing in a little bit more of a chilly atmosphere than here. What is it like playing in this warmer weather and what has the southern food been like for you here at the Reese Senior Bowl this week? Uh, it's been a joy, you know, I think it's going to be 10 degrees tomorrow in Madison and it's in the 60s here, so I'm, I'm living it up. You know, Peyton Manning, he was the sentimental favorite, 37 years old. Only one Super Bowl victory to his credit in two tries. Now in his third try, of course, he's got to carry that on his legacy. How difficult do you think it's going to be for him to be viewed as one of the great quarterbacks in the league after such a horrendous performance against the Seahawks? You know, I, how many great players don't even go to the Super Bowl ever? I think that's the main issue here. There are so many great players that don't either, even ever make it. And he's made it three times. Yes, he's only walked away with one of them. But just to say that he's been to the actual Super Bowl three times, I think that definitely credits his legacy enough. He's the best regular season quarterback. One of the best regular season quarterbacks of all time. Yeah. It's not the best. So, I mean, just because he didn't walk away with three rings, he has one, he's been three times, there's going to be some quarterbacks that never are able to say that. Hello, Browns fans. I'm Carly McCord here with team psychologist Dr. James Bell. Dr. Bell, thank you so much for being with us today. No worries. Thanks for inviting me. As we can tell, uh, you have a very distinguished accent. So why don't you start off by telling us a little bit about yourself. How did you end up here in Cleveland and where you're from originally and what are you doing here for the Browns? So I'm from the UK originally. Um, I'm, a, I'm a sports psychologist so I did my training in the UK. Um, I'll probably go into sports psychology more as we go on but essentially I'm, I'm in charge of or I'm supposed to help the players, support the players with their mental preparation, with dealing with things off the field but essentially anything psychological. I am standing in front of First Energy Stadium, but it will not look like this for long. Cleveland Browns owner Jimmy Haslam just announced the $120 million renovations for the stadium for the 2015 season. Two of the things that he emphasized was that they are really focused on creating a winning team and the best atmosphere for the fans in the NFL. For ClevelandBrowns.com, I'm Carly McCord.